Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. My name is Michael Moret, Romans 15, verse 7. Wherefore, receive ye one another, as Christ also received us, to the glory of God. Jesus accepted us, even though we did bad things, because we're certainly not anywhere near perfect. And that's the attitude that Christians should have toward one another. Don't be a pompous Christian. Don't be a holier-than-thou Christian. I'm not saying that you have to put up with Christians who are lukewarm and just don't care that they sin and say, well, it's all grace and that kind of garbage. No, they need to be rebuked. And the Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. Those kind of Christians, you need to break fellowship with once you warn them that what they're doing is very sinful and very wrong. I'm not talking about that. Yeah, absolutely. Because you are holier than them, at least in attitude, at least you're upright in the heart. But when it comes to Christians who love Jesus and love the word and they're just not perfect, don't look down on them and think that you are so superior from them because you don't happen to do their particular sin. You got your own, but you don't happen to do theirs so you can be pompous about it. No, sir, don't do that. No, and, and then think you're superior and act like you're superior. Because there was a God Almighty named Jesus Christ here on earth for 33 years who was superior. And he treated us as if we were better than him. And he left for us that example that we would follow in his footsteps. Verse 8. Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God to confirm the promises made unto the fathers. <clears throat> you know, all the promises that were recorded in the Old Testament scriptures about a Redeemer and an everlasting King were fulfilled in Jesus Christ. God kept his promises that he made in the Old Testament. He kept them in the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> That's why it's such a ridiculous thing to think of that the Jews missed their Messiah. Oh, well, not really. It's not hard to figure out. They love their sin. And when you love your sin, your mind and your soul are going to be darkened and you're not going to be able to see truth because you don't want to see truth. Verse 9, And the Gentiles, that the Gentiles, might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, For this cause I will confess to thee among the nations, or the Gentiles, and sing unto thy name. Jesus also made it possible for Gentiles to receive God's mercy. And that was predicted in the Old Testament as well. And now Jews and Gentiles, they're no longer two people. There, there are still two types of people in the world, but it's not Jews and Gentiles. It's the saved and the unsaved. The unsaved are those who reject Christ, no matter what their race or religion or ethnic background might be. The saved are Jews and Gentiles who have repented and received Christ as Lord and Savior. Study all of God's word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible verse by verse. And when you take a break from studying with me at the Bible, verse by verse dot com, go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. That will make you a part of this ministry, along with your prayers for me and God's word. And I'd appreciate it. And I appreciate you studying with me. And I hope you'll join me next time. And in the meantime, go to the Scripture Verse by Verse website at thebibleversebyverse.com and study at your pace, at your convenience, any part of the Bible. Bring your Bible and a hunger for God's Word. Until next time, so long.